Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Superpower User. My name is Stanley. And in the last video, I showed you around the desktop that I've got. And since then, I've completely torn it down. And what I've got here are the four 480 millimeter radiators. And what I've also got is a couple of Mayhem Splits kit to clean out the radiators. Um, we're gonna be taking a look at the kit itself and how it works and then trying, to, trying out the kit on these radiators. So let's get to it. The Mayhem Splits kit comes in two parts. The first part is basically the acid solution where you put into the radiator and let it sit for six to 12 hours or however long the instruction says. The second part is the buffer solution that basically neutralizes the acid and allows you to put whatever coolant you want back into the system so that you can run it long term. So we'll take a look at the part one first. Out of the box, part one, you get goggles, a manual, and then the part one solution, which is the acid, a measuring cup and gloves. The part one bottle is actually not very big. It is only 100 milliliters of acid. And uh, the acid that they choose to use is 1% or sorry, 0.1% phosphoric acid. What we do, what we'll do is mix the phosphoric acid with water so that we can put it into the radiators. Out of the box, the part one blitz kit comes with some goggles, the acid solution, a uh, measuring cup and gloves, along with a manual. The bottle itself is actually a relatively small bottle. It's only 100 milliliters for the kit. Now, 100 milliliters will be able to dilute in water and make up to two liters of acid solution. The acid solution that they're using is actually 0.1% phosphoric acid. So uh, you have to be a little bit careful with the phosphoric acid, but it's not too bad of an acid, only at 0.1%. That said, we're gonna first put our goggles on and let's see how well this fits. I haven't worn anything like this since high school chemistry. <laughs> All right, gloves on. So let's see what this says on the bottle. It says mix with water, leave in radiator for six to eight, 12 hours and clean. After cleaning, empty down the waste drain. So, uh, this is good for dumping out into the toilet or sink or whatever. So we're good with that. Refill with fresh water, and repeat, rinse and repeat. What I've got here is just a gallon of distilled water. Now, I've already pre-measured this out. I've got exactly 1.9 liters of water in here. And that is perfect for the 100 milliliters to put in there so that I'll have two liters of acid solution. Now. Two liters is still probably not enough for my four 480 millimeter radiators. That's why I've got a second box of the, sorry, this one, a second box of the part one blitz kit, which I can make a little bit more acid solution to top these radiators off. So what I've got here is a funnel and I'm just gonna open this thing up and puncture the seal. Got this thing open and I'm just gonna pour it into this one gallon of water here for two liters of water really. I've got my paper towels just in case I just in case I mess up and spill some of some of this stuff. But basically all you need to do is well make sure that all of the well first of all, all of the stops are on and really just start pouring. Make sure it doesn't overflow. So you gotta be watching. Ooh. Now I'm gonna tilt it down so that the holes are facing up so that I'm gonna make sure all the water goes down to the bottom so that I can top this off a little bit better. Oh, okay, it's full, it's really full.
All right, from here, all you need to do is just cap these, uh, cap these off. Now, these brass or uh, plated brass stoppers are perfect for the job. Just insert and screw them in and then, and then wipe up any extra water or acid solution that comes out. If you end up spilling anything, just uh, make sure you wipe it up and uh, that way it won't do any damage to your table or whatever you're working on. Now, a small tip here, if you have the radiator at a little bit of a slant, you can make sure that all the water rushes to the bottom as you fill it. Uh, that way you can do this much more efficiently. All right, I'm not gonna lie, I had completely forgotten that this this right here was open, so I was losing losing water, losing acid solution as I was filling this thing up, so. Yeah, double check that all of the openings are closed before you start filling the water. Pro tip. Now that all four radiators are filled with the acid solution, the instruction says to leave it in for six to 12 hours. Later tonight, I'm gonna to come in and shake it up a little bit again and perhaps flip it over to make sure that all the bubbles shift around in there and make sure that all the copper gets you know, some of that acid solution. Um, through the magic of video editing, you're gonna be seeing what happens for 12 hours from now, right now. All right, guys, it's been a little bit more than 12 hours since we've put the acid in here. It's probably closer to 16 hours now, and it's time to drain the radiators. What I'm gonna do is just unscrew the cap I've got here. Actually, I'm gonna unscrew both of them and drain a little bit of the liquid out into this glass measuring cup so that we can see what's coming out. Right off the bat here, these fill plugs were actually very dirty. And let's see if I can bring this close so you guys can take a look. These fill plugs were really dirty before. And you can see here, the acid's done quite a bit to clean up the threads and remove a lot of the junk, both of these. So we're off to a good start. All right, now I'm gonna just carefully pour some of this liquid into here and see what we get. Oh, Jesus. As you can see here, this is the water that came out of the radiator. It's a little bit blue, it's a little bit cloudy, and there is certainly stuff floating in the water. If you look inside the radiator, you'll see that almost all of the green patina that builds up on the inside of the radiator is gone. And that's why the water has a bluish color. It's because it's basically washed out all of that oxidation. And when you look inside, you see that uh, you can see the copper really, really clean, really shiny uh, orange, fresh copper. So over time, we're just gonna start building up that oxidation layer again as it ages. But at least for right now, all of that has been basically washed out of the radiator. What I'll do is I'll drain all these radiators and get these radiators ready for the part two of the Blitz Kit. So I'll be right back. What I've got here is the part two Blitz Kit, which is also known as the Blitz Basic Kit. It comes with the part two bottle, which is 150 mils, goggles, and then measuring cup, measuring cup and gloves. What I've got here is 500 milliliters of water and the ratio is 25 milliliters of the part two with 975 milliliters of water, making one whole liter. Now, since this is 500 milliliters, I can put in, what's well, half of 25? Half of 25 is 12 and a half, give or take, 12 and a half, yeah. So um, I'm gonna pour out about 10, 12 milliliters of fluid and then mix it in there and then put it into the radiator. So, 
Well, this has got a little blue color too. Just put that in there. Mix it around. And then start filling. What this will do is it will neutralize the acid in the radiator. And uh, the, the part two blitz kit is also good for putting it inside your system and recirculating inside your system for a long time. Uh, since we're just doing the radiator, what we'll do is put the water in, shake it up, let it sit there for 30 minutes, about an hour, and then take it out again. It doesn't really need to sit long, it just needs to neutralize the acid. And neutralization of acid is actually really quick. What I'll do is cap it again. And I don't actually need to fill this all the way again. This is just to neutralize the acid. So I think this is like 90% full now. Give that a shake. And then we can put this aside and go on to the next radiator. What you'll notice is that this fluid will actually foam a little bit and it's almost like a detergent of sorts um, with a buffer solution to neutralize the acid. All right, and basically from here, we'll just let this sit for another half an hour or so, drain it out flush with either distilled water or tap water uh, a few times, and then fill it up with a final with a distilled water flush, just so that we make sure that we get all the minerals and whatever out of here. And that's pretty much it. So uh, that's basically how you clean out the radiator with part one and part two of the blitz kit, and you can see it's actually pretty effective. You get a lot of the bad stuff out, the patina out, uh, the buildup and the oxidation out of the radiators. So anyway, if you found this video useful, make sure to hit that like button and perhaps consider subscribing for the rest of this build. We'll see you next time.